Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard and we're learning about home energy evaluations. We've given this basement a thorough going over in the hopes of finding energy improvements that will pay off within a reasonable time frame. This is of interest to both the owners and the renters of this beautiful 82-year-old house in Edmonton. Meanwhile, our professional home energy advisor has conducted an analysis of the entire house using an air leakage test and a computer program. So in this last part of basement analysis, we learn more about air sealing and the economics of home energy upgrades. Well, to be honest with you, it's probably going to require um, significant investment to make much of a difference in the, uh, in the energy consumption. The energy report provides instructions to get the house up to the highest level of energy efficiency possible for its age and construction type. Total estimated savings with all the recommended improvements is 58% of the energy used to heat this house. There's no reason you can't get started on small things. Um, for example, we've already looked at the floor joists and I can see outside through those floor joists. So maybe we could start there and that's a very inexpensive thing to do. An attempt to insulate the floor joist area was made in the past, but it is a common mistake to overlook sealing up the cracks first. But make sure that there's no cold air coming in from the outside before you start insulating and sealing it further. So you could just use a caulking gun and caulk all the way along here, along here, uh, fill this in. Every house is a little bit different. Now here we have a rather large pocket and these are our 12 bats, so I would put two of these bats in here. Don't compress them in too much, otherwise you lose the insulating value of the material itself. And assuming that you have sealed this off very well, uh, and this is important, you can go and get yourself some rigid foam board and fit it in here, right up to the top, and seal that area off. So then you got another R4, R5 here, and you got an R22 to R30 in there. Older house like this, though, um, make sure that you don't have any structural problems with your foundation before you start doing any of this work. Richard and the Hot 2 XP computer program have provided information about how this house works as a system, air quality, priority upgrades and the best way to do them, and energy payback. There are often grants and incentives tied to this program. But for Richard, the environmental and social benefits of saving energy come first. It's about uh, preserving the systems that we were given. Plain and simple. This episode of Made in Alberta was brought to you by multiple partners in the interest of promoting public awareness of energy and environmental issues. Would you like to see more stories about energy improvements in this house and others? Let us know by visiting madeinalberta.ca or phoning 455-7335. Join us again as we learn more about energy efficiency improvements in older buildings in Alberta.